Hello. Having been a fly fisherman for many, many years, when I first decided to take up barbel fishing, I was absolutely mesmerised <laughs> by the vocabulary, uh, things I'd never heard of. And uh, going on the internet or looking in catalogues or even visiting my local tackle shop, uh, the myriad of, of gear was just mind-boggling. Uh, particularly mesmerised by reels, how many reels that all seemed to do the same job. Hundreds of the things, um, and uh, it's very difficult to uh, to know what what exactly you need. Uh, I mean, fortunately, my tackle shop were very good about it and uh, it helped me enormously. But for those of you who are thinking of taking up barbel fishing or coarse fishing at all, uh, what I thought I'd do today is I'd just have a little rundown about reels, uh, and I'll use an accumulation of reels which I've gathered over the years. Uh, not very expensive, in fact, uh, quite cheap. And uh, basically it's uh, about the evolution of the, of, of the reel right from the very beginning. And I hope you find it useful. This is a very simple reel. It's a sea fishing reel. It's Victorian. And uh, like all reels, it has the rod attachment here. It clamps onto the rod. Uh, but it's very simple. I'll just take this wing off. It's simply a turned bobbin or spool made of wood and it fits onto a little pin. The bobbin has a little steel liner so that the wood doesn't wear out. It also has a little mechanism on the back here, so that when you're winding a fish, you can increase the drag on the line, so that when the fish is pulling line off the spool, it's difficult to do, and the fish tires quite quickly and therefore is landed easily. Okay. This second reel is a fly fishing reel. It's very, very similar to the, the first one. It has a bobbin. There's a fly fishing line on, which is totally different to the line you use for coarse fishing. But again, it just has this pin here. No, and that just fits on the pin. It too has a little knob here for increasing the drag on. I should add at this point I'm not advocating any particular manufacturer of these. These just happen to be reels which I have accumulated over the years. This reel is uh, what we call a centre pin. It's quite simply a bigger version of the others, of the first two. Um, it, The big advantage of this is, is that it has bearings, rope, so that when I spin it, it continues to run and run and run and run. Essentially it's used for trotting, in other words, dropping a float with bait into the water and letting the current take the float downstream, pulling line from the reel. Obviously the less friction there is, the easier the line comes off and the float travels down the river naturally at the same speed as the current. Um, it does have a, a drag adjustment on this side. But in this reel, it's either on or off. But most people control the drag by simply feathering the reel. In other words, just putting your finger or thumb on the edge as the line is coming off. Increase the pressure of the thumb, increases the drag.
Casting with this is quite easy when you're just standing in the water, you just drop the float in the water and it drifts away downstream and pulls line off the off the reel. If on the other hand you want to cast some distance with it, it's uh, a different kettle of fish altogether. And you have to master what's known as the Wallace cast. I would suggest you go onto the internet and have a look at how this is done. Um, <laughs> it's not very easy. Um, and I'll just leave it at that. You, you can do it yourself. The, let's bring all three back. The thing about these reels is that one turn of the handle brings back one circumference of line, so they're quite slow at the retrieve. It's not so bad in fly fishing because you're probably only playing with 30 feet of line, but when you're fishing or trotting downstream, then uh, you probably have m many, many more, maybe 50 yards, even more of line. And this is why this centre pin is much bigger, of course, much bigger by diameter, and therefore you get a much quicker retrieve. In part two, I'll be looking at the basic features of the fixed spool reel and why so many younglers use it in coarse fishing. <laughs>